Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Today we have some Tether news and it's some good news for Tether and probably the cryptocurrency market. An independent auditor, although an independent auditor based in the Cayman Islands, which we all know is a tax haven, um, has actually said that in his opinion, after auditing Tether, that Tether actually is fully funded by its reserves. Now, he also said that Tether is has always been fully funded by its assets, but I actually don't believe that because I think it's only fully funded by its assets recently because Bitcoin has grown so much in price. And Tether's mass printing actually preceded Bitcoin's massive growth in price. So I don't think it's always been fully funded, but it is actually fully funded now, which makes it hard to argue otherwise. Um, Tether, apparently, this is from CryptoNews.com, has $35.27 billion in assets and over 35.11 billion in liabilities. So they are at a net asset of about 0.16 billion or about $160 million. So Tether is fully backed. So I guess if anyone else were to audit them right now, assuming that this auditor did a good job of on auditing Tether, they would actually find that Tether is fully backed by its assets and it cannot collapse. Now, a lot of Tether's assets actually, I think, are crypto. So if the price of crypto actually drops, they probably aren't going to be fully backed. But that's just my opinion. That is not, uh, I'm not an accountancy expert. I have not seen Tether's financial records or their assets. But I just personally think that their being fully backed does depend on a high price of Bitcoin. On the other hand, since I do expect Bitcoin to grow more, I think they can actually print a lot more Tether and be fully backed. That's the other part of it. But I think this whole fear that Tether is going to be somehow insolvent and spontaneously combust can actually be put to rest. Um, basically, New York can ban them all they want. They can just use USDC in New York. But Tether, I think, is going to be okay because they do have a large amount of assets and a large amount of crypto assets, which are probably appreciating assets in that sense. And I don't really see a crypto collapse. However, if there was a crypto collapse... Tether could actually find itself in a lot of trouble as it could actually be insolvent. I'm not really sure how many people actually expect Tether to be 100% solvent, nor how much that actually matters, because even when there were doubts, people kept on using Tether. Really, New York was the only place making a big fuss about it. The rest of the world seemed actually okay with it. I think that case actually may be over. New York has banned them from New York, but other parts of the world can actually use it. But this is actually fairly good news because Tether has never been in. I don't think Tether has ever been independently audited before. At least I haven't really uh, heard of it. But now they kind of have, although it's from an auditor in the Cayman Islands. Um, and it looks like they're actually fully funded. So Tether, if people were to actually cash in, they could actually cash in and should have no problems actually actually trading USDT on the open market. So although I was fine with USDT in the first place, I was never really like that afraid of using USDT and I used them several times um, in the past two years. Now there's that peace of mind and you hold some money in Tether, at least if the audit from the Cayman Islands is correct. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think, like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.